the universe can only travel at a finite speed. As a result, we can only observe objects at events that are at a certain distance from us. We cannot directly see objects or events that occurred long ago in the past. The diameter of the observable universe is estimated to be approximately 93 billion light years, which is much larger than the estimated age of the universe, which is estimated to be 13.8 billion years. This discrepancy is because the expansion of the universe has caused objects that were once close together to move away from each other, and light from those objects has required more time to reach us. Overall, the observable universe is a vast and fascinating space, but there's still much we don't know about it. However, through the use of telescopes such as NASA's James Swept Space Telescope and other scientific instruments, we continue to learn more about this structure, composition, and history of the universe, as well as its various phenomena. Join us as we discover the NASA structure that the James Space Telescope has just made contact with in the far reaches of the observable universe. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel. Be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. Now, what lies beyond the observable universe? To reach the far reaches of the observable universe, we would need to develop transportation methods that would allow us to transcend space-time, such as using distortion engines or wormholes. These concepts have long been the subject of debate among scientists, some of whom believe that they are simply impossible or that they contradict the idea of faster-than-light speed travel. The feasibility of both possibilities, faster-than-light travel and the use of advanced technology beyond the reach of current human intelligence, is a subject of intense debate. Even if they were theoretically possible, it would require technological advances and machinery that are currently beyond our capabilities. The theory of cosmic inflation posits that the total size of the universe is at least 10 to the power of 23 times larger than the observable universe. This number is so vast that it is incomprehensible to the human mind. Since we cannot see or measure the unobservable part of the universe, therefore we have no way of knowing with certainty what lies beyond its limits. However, that does not mean we cannot develop theories based on the information we have gathered from distant galaxies, and this is where NASA plays an important role. NASA in collaboration with other space agencies and research institutions around the world, has made numerous significant contributions to our understanding of the universe. Even before the James Space Telescope became operational this year, NASA had already released images of the ultra-deep field obtained with the Hubble Space Telescope. However, when the James Webb Telescope made its debut, it was taken out to observe the most distant galaxy ever recorded. These images revealed the presence of numerous galaxies shining in the distant cosmos, apparently as they were millions of years after the Big Bang occurred approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The expansion of the cosmos causes the stretching of light to redder wavelengths, which allows the James Space Telescope to detect infrared light. This has allowed us to observe galaxies forming in the early stages of the universe's history. The James Webb Space Telescope has made observations of several fields of distant galaxies, allowing scientists to study the rate at which stars formed in the early universe. These data revealed the existence of a significant population of galaxies that were forming stars in the early stages of the universe. These discoveries are truly fascinating and thought-provoking. For a long time, humans have contemplated the possibility that we're not alone in this vast universe. However, these new determinations within the observable universe lead us to believe that there must be millions of galaxies in the unobservable part of the universe. This idea is truly shocking and awakens a sense of awe and wonder about the vastness of the cosmos. Are there extraterrestrial beings somewhere in the universe? The likelihood of life beyond Earth has never been more compelling, leading us to consider the possibility of the existence of extraterrestrials. There are numerous planets outside our solar system, known as exoplanets, which have been discovered using techniques such as the transit method and the radial method. Some of these exoplanets may have similar characteristics to Earth and may harbor life. This theory has been supported by another discovery made thanks to the James Webb Telescope related to the exoplanet WASP-96b. This planet is outside our solar system, and its light spectrum reveals something surprising, the presence of water molecules. In addition, the spectrum also shows hints of haze and clouds, which were not previously thought to exist on a habitable planet. Based on the habitable environments found elsewhere in the universe and considering the advances in the search for exoplanets, it is difficult to rule out the possibility that alien beings exist beyond our planet. Although we do not yet have conclusive proof, discoveries, and evidence suggest that the existence of extraterrestrial life is a fascinating possibility. What about the multiverse in relation to the vastness of the observable universe? Let me tell you, the possibilities are endless. The concept of the multiverse, also known as the many-worlds interpretation, 
is a theoretical idea in physics and philosophy that suggests the existence of multiple parallel universes or dimensions beyond our own. The multiverse is mainly discussed in the context of quantum physics, which deals with the behavior of tiny particles such as atoms and subatomic particles. According to some interpretations of quantum physics, the act of observation can cause a quantum system to collapse into a single state. However, in the many worlds interpretation, the act of observation simply causes the system to split into multiple states, each representing a different outcome. It is important to note that the idea of the multiverse remains highly speculative and is not yet supported by conclusive evidence. It is therefore difficult to state with certainty whether it is a valid concept or not. Some scientists and philosophers find the idea of the multiverse intriguing and potentially useful in explaining certain phenomena, while others are skeptical about its validity. Given that we do not know what lies outside our universe, the possibility of the existence of a multiverse remains as valid as the famous Schrödinger's cat thought experiment or the nature of darkness. It is a concept that arouses fascination and reflection but requires more research and evidence to be confirmed. Does the phenomenon known as dark flow exist? The question is complex and raises an intriguing issue. Dark flow came about in 2008 as a possible explanation for the observation that some galaxy clusters appear to move faster than expected based on the distribution of matter in the universe. The concept of dark flow suggests that these galaxy clusters may be influenced by some form of dark matter or dark energy that pulls them in a specific direction. However, the existence of dark flow remains controversial and has not yet been accepted by the scientific community at large. Some studies have suggested that dark flow may be real and could be caused by the presence of a massive structure in the universe that exerts an attraction on galaxy clusters. However, other studies have failed to confirm the existence of dark flow and have proposed that the observed motion of galaxy clusters could be the result of other factors, such as systematic errors in the detected ones. While other studies suggest its possible existence, we cannot say with certainty it's present outside the observable universe. More research and evidence is needed to better understand this intriguing phenomenon. Despite the debates and uncertainties, the pursuit of answers to these profound cosmic mysteries has only intensified. With each new mission, telescope, and dataset, humanity inches closer to comprehending its place in the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope, in particular, has revolutionized observational astronomy by providing unprecedented clarity of the most ancient and distant regions of space. Its infrared capabilities allow scientists to peer through cosmic dust and into the very heart of galaxies, revealing structures previously invisible and unimagined. For instance, among the more puzzling findings are mature galaxies appearing just 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies are large, well-organized, and filled with stars, defying expectations that such complex systems could exist so early. Traditional models of cosmic evolution suggest that star and galaxy formation is a gradual process, requiring hundreds of millions, if not billions, of years. Yet, the Webb telescope has uncovered systems that seem to leapfrog the known evolutionary steps, existing in a surprisingly advanced state during the supposed infancy of the universe. Such discoveries not only challenge existing cosmological models but also embolden the idea that our understanding of time and space may be fundamentally incomplete. Some theorists propose that what we perceive as time may not be a fixed linear continuum, but rather a dynamic element that behaves differently under extreme conditions. Others speculate that certain areas of the universe may have developed at varying rates, possibly due to differing densities of matter or unknown cosmic forces at play. This brings renewed attention to speculative yet increasingly relevant theories like Rajendragupta's expanded age model of the universe. If the universe is in fact older, 26.7 billion years or more, it would solve the problem of premature galaxy formation. It would also reconcile the age of ancient stars like Methuselah and account for the existence of well-formed structures long before traditional models suggest they should appear. Though far from universally accepted, Gupta's theory has triggered important conversations that stretch across physics, astronomy, and philosophy. Meanwhile, the search for life beyond Earth continues to gather momentum. The James Webb Telescope has already examined several exoplanets in exquisite detail. One of the most notable observations involves the detection of carbon dioxide, methane, and even potential biosignatures in the atmospheres of planets hundreds of light years away. WASP-96b, for example, not only showed signs of water but also revealed previously unexpected atmospheric complexities, such as haze layers and chemical variations. Such results raise the tantalizing possibility that other Earth-like worlds may exist, not just in terms of surface conditions but possibly in terms of biological activity. Supporting this is the discovery of exoplanets in the habitable zones of their respective stars, 
regions where temperatures are suitable for liquid water to exist. TRAPPIST-1, a system located just under 40 light-years away, contains at least seven Earth-sized planets, three of which are within the habitable zone. Further observations of these planets with Webb's instruments might one day reveal the telltale signs of microbial life, or even more complex forms. Beyond biological curiosity, the discovery of extraterrestrial life would reshape every aspect of human thought, from religion and philosophy to politics and technology. It would challenge deeply held beliefs about humanity's uniqueness and open up ethical considerations about communication, cultural exchange, and potential risks of contact. Though the prospect remains speculative, the mounting data from telescopes, probes, and simulations suggest it is no longer a question of if, but when. Another area of intrigue is the nature and extent of dark matter and dark energy, mysterious forces that dominate the universe's mass energy content. While dark matter is believed to hold galaxies together with its gravitational pull, dark energy is thought to be responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe. However, the actual nature of these entities remains unknown. The Gaia mission's recent finding that the Milky Way may have significantly less dark matter than previously estimated has only deepened the mystery. This revelation raises several possibilities. Perhaps our models of dark matter are flawed, or maybe dark matter isn't as uniformly distributed across galaxies as once thought. Alternatively, we may be measuring galactic mass incorrectly, due to unseen variables or unaccounted for interactions between stars and interstellar gas. The idea that our galaxy could be an anomaly is intriguing, and troubling, because it implies we may not be able to generalize findings from our local cosmic neighborhood to the wider universe. In tandem with these discoveries is the mysterious concept of dark flow. If real, dark flow could point towards structures or phenomena beyond the observable universe exerting a gravitational influence. One theory posits the existence of a great attractor, a colossal mass of matter beyond our visible horizon that pulls galaxies in a specific direction. Alternatively, dark flow might hint at multidimensional space, where gravity leaks into our universe from parallel realities. The implications of such possibilities stretch the boundaries of what science is prepared to explain. If we live in a multiverse, then each universe could have its own laws of physics, its own constants, and perhaps its own versions of life. In this framework, our universe might be just one bubble in a frothing sea of cosmic creation, expanding and colliding with others in ways we cannot yet detect. As we move further into the 21st century, these ideas are no longer confined to speculative fiction, they are legitimate areas of academic research. Universities around the world are forming interdisciplinary teams combining astrophysics, quantum theory, AI, and data science to explore what lies beyond the limits of current human understanding. The frontiers of space are no longer merely about distances and planets, they are about time, consciousness, and the very architecture of existence. As we continue to peer deeper into the universe with tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, the Euclid Space Telescope, and upcoming missions like the Nancy Grace Roman Telescope, we may finally begin to answer some of the questions that have haunted philosophers and scientists for millennia. Where did we come from? What else is out there? Are we truly alone? Or is life a cosmic inevitability, destined to emerge wherever the right conditions exist? Ultimately, our journey through the cosmos is not just a scientific endeavor, it is a deeply human one. It reflects our drive to explore, to ask questions, and to seek meaning in the vast silence of the universe. Whether we uncover ancient civilizations, solve the enigma of dark energy, or glimpse other universes, one truth remains clear, the more we learn, the more wondrous and mysterious our universe becomes.